plus fatigue, have you heard of it? Some Oregon Ducks fans may be currently experiencing it like a persistent cold after Oregon women's basketball came asterisk this close asterisk a chance at its first national title. After missing 11 of their final 12 baskets, Oregon was inches away from beating top overall seeded Baylor, who advanced to beat Notre Dame to claim the crown. Sigh. No doubt the Ducks community is very proud of the women's team, who appeared in the program's first Final Four. However, asterisk this close asterisk doesn't equal a national championship trophy. The University of Oregon hasn't won a national championship in a sport besides track and field, cross country or golf since 1939 when men's basketball won the first ever NCAA tournament. Always the shiny, green, yellow, white, chrome, etc., contenders, never the champs. 2019 is the year that gives Oregon fans an excuse to dream of rings. Two Oregon star athletes passed on the opportunity to turn professional and earn a paycheck because they thought the opportunities at Oregon were greater. It takes a certain player mold to take that risk and the Ducks are blessed with two elite athletes who could lead their teams to great success. Yes, the paychecks were vastly different amounts, but guard Sabrina Ionescu and quarterback Justin Herbert both decided to walk away from the money on the table with the hope to accomplish more in Eugene, Oregon. Projected to be the number one pick in WNBA draft, Ionescu had 24 hours following Oregon's loss to declare for the draft. The junior is chasing her own records already, holding the NCAA record for career triple-doubles with 18 and earning back-to-back Pac-12 Conference Player of the Year and First Team All-American honors. Smashing goals is what she does. Her goal when she signed with Oregon as ESPN's number four ranked recruit was to change the program. The 5'11 guard dreamed the Ducks would sell out Matthew Knight Arena and battle with the NCAA's best on a national stage. She's checked both those boxes. With one more accolade in mind, the Oregon star opted to stay at Oregon. I think she's left her mark, twin brother Eddie Ionescu said. Now her only goal is to win an NCAA championship for her team and the university. With Ionescu's return, Oregon has certainly cemented its foothold in the national spotlight and could enter the 2019-20 season ranked no. 1 in the AP poll. Her influence is larger than rankings and she is one of a kind in the Oregon community. Her relatability is palpable and personality vibrant. Kids, men and women wait after Oregon games for autographs and photos. Those who chanted, one more year, to Ionescu as the Ducks cut the nets in the Moda Center after winning the Portland Regional, got their wish. We have unfinished business. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Ionescu wrote in the Players' Tribune. My teammates and I, our coaches, our fans, this program, we're not going on a run, you know what I mean. We're not doing one of those things where, like, a team appears out of the blue, on the backs of a few good players, and then makes some noise for a season or two before heading back underground. Nah, this isn't that. We're building something special in Eugene, Ionescu's return solidifies that the Oregon women's basketball program has elevated its standard and discarded its new B title among the nation's elite. The Ducks return most of their team and a very determined Ionescu. The countdown to next season is on. The countdown to watch Herbert, the 6'6", 235-pound passer with a powerful right arm and sneaky fast wheels, is much shorter. As a projected top 10 draft pick, why resist the NFL and give up literally millions of dollars? As Herbert said, nothing could pull me away from the opportunities that we have in front of us, Herbert took a risk by returning. The 2019 quarterback class is viewed as relatively weak and Herbert's measurables alone would have made him one of the first quarterbacks off the board. However, there may be some reward for his risk, as some teams are already pondering if it's worth it to wait to draft a quarterback in 2020. Freakishly fast and athletic, returning for his senior season gives Herbert the opportunity to further develop his decision-making, accuracy and improve as an NFL prospect. Eugene Native has a chance to play with his younger brother Patrick Herbert, a four-star tight end. 
At 6'5", 225 pounds, freshman Patrick Herbert's strength is catching the ball in traffic. You could be hearing a lot of Herbert to Herbert ringing through Watson Stadium. Red, takeaways from Oregon football Hillsboro scrimmage, changed physiques, freshman highlights and duck, celebrities, Herbert's decision to return provides him a chance to lead the Ducks back to national prominence and change the course of his legacy. A once dark horse Heisman Trophy candidate, he wasn't even an all-pack 12 honorable mention pick in 2018. Oregon is likely be the favorite in the North Division and the conference for 2019. The Ducks enter year two under head coach Mario Cristobal with a veteran offensive line, running back weapons C.J. Verdell and Travis Dye, an influx of young talent at receiver, eight returning starters on defense and a few extraordinary freshmen who could make instant impacts. Oregon's leading tacker each of the last three seasons, inside linebacker Troy Dye, will also return for his senior season. I'm not predicting that Oregon will win the national championship next season. A Pac-12 title ring is much more likely. However, the urgency is on for Oregon football to take the next step and to make the most of Herbert's senior season in the same way Oregon maximized Marcus Mariota's return five years ago. Mariota elected to stay for his redshirt junior season and subsequently won the program's first Heisman Trophy, led Oregon to a Pac-12 title, a Rose Bowl victory and a trip to the national championship game. Once again, the Ducks were asterisk this close asterisk to taking the first ever college football playoff crown. 2019 the year Oregon loses asterisk this close asterisk from its vocabulary. Is 2019 the year Ducks fans can burn all the signs that have the O logo with number of national championships below it? The answer is yes if you ask Ionescu or Herbert, and that is probably the cure to any loss fatigue you are feeling. Let's block ads. Why? 